Hello everyone. Buenas tardes, ya. I'm Pedro. I'm really happy to be here in Toronto. It's my first time in Canada. Uh, you know, when I was coming into the airport, I saw all these signs that says, uh, you're welcome here. It doesn't matter where you come from. So they really made me feel warm. I congratulate you on that. Thank you very much. And uh, I'm a founding member at PICAP. We are the Peruvian Seed and Venture Capital Association. And we represent a number of angel investors and uh, venture capital funds in Peru. And I will try, try to give you a glimpse into what the Peruvian ecosystem is. Uh, we started a couple of years ago. Uh, yeah, perfect. Uh, when we just started, we were just only five people at the table uh, trying to agree on uh, how we should bring more investment money into the Peruvian ecosystem. Now, a couple of years later, we are 22, uh, which is almost the entire Peruvian ecosystem regarding angel investing. And together, as as members, we have almost invested uh, $7 million now. And well, that uh, in the background is Lima, my hometown. How many of you have been in Peru? Can you raise your hands? Nice, thank you. I hope you had a great time. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, can, yeah, I'm, I'm showing you this picture because these are our members. Uh, what's important about these logos, you probably don't know any of those, but these are not only angel investment groups and funds, but at Pickup we also work a lot with law firms trying to get like the uh, write documents to sign investment on. We work with accountants, uh, we work with different accelerators and incubators inside the ecosystem. Right there, there's Utec Ventures. I, I was there for a couple of years. And we work together with one objective, which is increase the number and I would say the magnitude of the seed capital rounds in Peru. That's our main target and that's uh, why we're actually all together. Um, how do we do this? So the first thing about uh, us all being together, like the first advantage, is we manage to gather data about the whole ecosystem, which uh, as a country is a great fit. Thank you. And uh, we actually publish some reports uh, quarterly. You can enter right now through your phones to www.pickup.p and download these reports. Uh, another thing we do as Pickup is educate investors regarding angel investing. So we give uh, workshops right now. I mean, that on the right is me. Uh, we were actually working on setting a standard term sheet for the Peruvian ecosystem. And we also teach uh, mostly traditional investors how to start interacting with startups. And last but not least, we collaborate with the ecosystem. And you know, when we are all together as angel investors and, uh, and funds, it's way easier to speak towards corporate actors and the government, uh, so they, they try to create friendly regulation for investment. Uh, I mean, they take us uh, more seriously when we are that, that many. <laughs> so, a uh, very brief history about the Peruvian ecosystem. Uh, as many Latin American countries, the main push started from the government, I don't know if you're familiar with the history of Startup Chile here. So, uh, Startup Peru was founded in 2014. It was a government initiative that started giving grants to entrepreneurs themselves to, who were given an award and to other institutions inside the ecosystem that would help uh, the entrepreneurs develop uh, entrepreneurship capabilities. So, I would say in 2014, that's when the Peruvian ecosystem as it is started. Then a couple of years ago, we as Pickup were founded, and as you can see on the graph down below, uh, that's when we actually started to map the whole magnitude of the angel investment ecosystem. And uh, actually, it has been growing very fastly, uh, very steadily. Uh, we, we have been having like at least 30% uh, growth each year. Last year, we more than uh, duplified the, our growth, so we're, we're really happy about it. Uh, and this year we're hoping to get at least 20 million. I would say we could get to 30 easily. So these are some averages in the Peruvian ecosystem. Uh, you would look at the $2 million valuation. This is pre-money before the investment money goes into the startup. Uh, 
So this is still small compared to our Latin American peers. I would say that in Brazil it's like four. And if you go to Silicon Valley, you would start looking at like six, seven million startups, uh, mainly from uh, PowerPoint. But uh, still, we're working on getting uh, more money to the Peruvian ecosystem, and hopefully these numbers will go up. So yeah, um, the last picture I was showing you, it's all the startups in the Peruvian ecosystem that have already received investment. So the cool thing about this is that uh, you're looking that there are a multitude of sectors, not only sectors in where the, the Peruvian economy is traditionally good, but also things like edtech. You know, uh, in education in Latin America, it's a real, really a big issue. Like the quality of education you get depends a lot on how much money your parents had. Uh, so there are like many entrepreneurs trying to fight this. Uh, we're also looking at the big market regarding fintech. Uh, Latin America, like as Joel said before, uh, has a problem of access to financial vehicles and financial institutions. So fintech tries to bring these financial services to people. And we're also looking at agri-tech and mine tech uh, startups because these are sectors that require uh, big degrees of investment. So I would say they're quite ready for disruption. So uh, these are the exits that have happened uh, in the Peruvian ecosystem in the last years. I'm showing you this because I think it's important and actually I think validates uh, the reason why we're all here. Uh, so uh, you have been looking at some exits in the last years. These are around, I mean, uh, Rand was saying, you know, you're looking at an eight, ten million dollar exit. He's right. I mean, most of these startups have had exits of around the 10 to the 20 million range. I would say like multi-million exits, but exits are still. Uh, how many Colombians are here? So you all know Rappi, right? Uh, they just bought a, a startup called Dilo in Peru, which does the same. It's last mile delivery. We actually, as an accelerator, invested on that startup, Dilo. Uh, so they just entered into the Peruvian market and they just, uh, they just swarmed it. Uh, actually, Rappi just received a $1.2 billion investment from, the soft, from SoftBank. They created a fund specialized in Latin America. So we're looking forward to get uh, more investments from them in the Latin American ecosystem. And being here in Canada, I have to show you this. Um, so these are all startups founded by Peruvians and working uh, mostly here in the US and in Canada. You know, uh, it's quite hard to be a founder. It's a lot of work. Uh, so, uh, doing that in another country, it's even harder. So, uh, I, would like, I would like you to give just a round of applause for them because they're really hardworking and uh, really <laughs> lovely people. Thank you. And well, these are, I wanted to show you these, these are like opportunity areas on the Peruvian ecosystem. Uh, well, and finally, uh, we as a Peruvian ecosystem are just starting to get, in, to get mapped out on the Latin American picture. You know, we're like this upcoming neighborhood where it was like so nice to live before, now people are starting to talk about us. Uh, so we're open for business. I mean, we're still small, but we're growing really fast. So we're actually looking forward uh, for you to come and uh, know more about us, invest in us, and come to Peru. So I just want to finish this, inviting you all to Peru. Uh, we're holding the Peru Venture Capital Conference. So if you want to know more about the Peruvian ecosystem, this is the place to be. It will be on October 22nd and 23rd in Lima, Peru, and you're all invited. Thank you for having me.